welcome back welcome to BDD Cucumber Framework we are working uh, on BDD Cucumber Framework from scratch since uh, last four days step by step this course is on BDD Cucumber Framework in seven steps as I mentioned earlier, VDD Cucumber Framework can be done within three steps. What are these? We will create first a feature file in the first step. In the second step, we will create step definition file. And finally, in the third step, we will, we will create J, JUnit uh, test runner class file and run the framework execute the framework these are the three steps very simple and very easy but to make it more easier to make it easier simpler fun and more engaging and more interesting I have broken these three steps into seven steps and trying to uh, make the concept the core concept clear to each and everyone I know many of you are spending a lot of money some are paying even hundred to four four thousand dollar just to learn BDD cucumber framework I know many of my friends they went to many uh, IT institutes changes several okay then finally come back to me and finally learn it so it's actually not that difficult it's very simple very easy simply three steps again I repeat creating a feature file then create step definition file and finally create JUnit test runner very very simple okay I hope after attending this seven steps the video ranging 15 minutes to 40 minutes it will help you a lot to understand BDD Cucumber Framework. I'm damn sure after watching these seven steps and practicing twice or thrice, the whole confusion will eliminate it from your mind and heart. Okay? So in the last um, four video tutorial series we already come to know what is BDD Cucumber okay just I'm um, recapping uh, why BDD Cucumber is used okay then what is feature file okay um, then what is Gherkin language what is step definition step definition file then what is glue code in BDD Cucumber then finally what is JUnit test runner okay and we also come to know what are the steps to create BDD Cucumber framework I mentioned only three steps but to make it easier simpler more fun engaging okay more understandable I break those three steps into seven steps and these steps are step number one we created a mabin project in second step we prepared the test environment okay just copy and paste the dependencies necessary dependencies from MVN repository into pom.xml file and pom.xml files I have shown you screenshot from one of my project how do they look like okay and uh, 
also we discussed about necessary dependencies how many uh, necessary dependencies are there uh, just 11 right and uh, I showed you one by one the dependencies in the slide and also in the demonstration okay so just look at it okay these are the dependencies and we also work with feature file and we have seen how we can create feature file okay and also how to execute the feature file to get auto generated uh, code snippets with which we can uh, implement in the step definition file how we can bind together the feature file and the step definition file how we can map it how we can link it okay and uh, in the fourth step I've shown you also the screenshot of the feature file now uh, some of you are asking me could you please show us the uh, test cases in BDD Cucumber actually the feature you know the feature is what that we going to test the component we are going to test the feature we are going to test of the application and in the description section actually it's not necessary but some companies they the best practice is to describe keep a description what actually you are going to do in this project okay in this feature then scenario actually the scenario is the test case okay scenario is the test case and we have some test steps here all right login with valid username and password okay this is actually test case scenario is test case and these are the test steps given given is precondition open browser and when is action when user take action enters URL this URL enters registered username and password and click on login button okay you can also break uh, username and password into separate steps then user uh, must successfully log in into the web application okay now this is the example okay then finally we also work with step definitions we run the uh, third step uh, feature file okay and then we generated automatically code snippets and just copy them and paste into the step definition file okay step definition class okay then now since uh, in video cucumber we don't have a uh, main method and we know in java selenium with java we need a main method to execute the test since we don't have we have to create a JUnit test runner that can execute our framework, our test. Okay, so now step definitions are look like this, and finally we are in uh, step five. Today we are going to work on it, and we are going to create JUnit test runner. Okay, so how we will do it? let's see uh, what we will be doing we will be creating a package my test runner inside this package we will be creating a JUnit test runner class and we will name it test runner and we will import necessary classes okay so let's see how we can do it in brief okay now let's open our uh, project and what I'm going to do is uh, I create a test runner class I think here is study 
actually I work with some of my friends and I did it uh, okay test runner what is test runner I think we don't have so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a test runner this is our um, form XML file okay and where is feature file here is feature file okay uh, login test final okay it's taking a little time but not a problem at all then mm, we are waiting uh, the feature file login test final dot feature to be open okay yes this is it uh, even if you want you can make it a little uh, indented no problem at all if you want to provide the description that's fine but if you don't want it it's not actually necessary okay so it's being saved I think okay. all right now what we are going to do we are going to we know we we the test engineers we uh, use uh, SSC slash test slash Java and we are going to create a test runner file here okay now just go to new and create a package and I name it uh, my test runner okay then hit finish okay and inside the test runner what I'm going to do I'm going to create a test runner class and I need it runner okay then I hit enter or finish this is my test runner now uh, inside the uh, class test runner we don't need to write anything what we are going to do we are going to run with uh, JUnit test runners so I will uh, write cucumber dot class okay and the class uh, JUnit dot cucumber class has been imported and I just import this run with and it will import uh, JUnit for library okay automatically it will so right here actually it was there I think but it's fine okay now uh, what uh, we can do we can say cucumber options and now the cucumber options will uh, define and specifies where are our step definitions where are our feature file all these things okay it will give some more information about the cucumber project okay so we actually can write in one sen one line but it's better to write separately it looks better and I want to import it import cucumber options and cucumber options are right here then I will exactly telling where are our features okay so I will just say features we are specifying telling where is our feature okay our feature is inside the features inside the features folder so I will just tell name of the folder okay features and cucumber is so intelligent so smart it can pick up the feature file from features folder okay then what I'm going to do I am specifying 
telling the cucumber, okay, telling the cucumber, where is the glue? Glue is inside the step definition. Okay, step definition. Step definitions. Okay, step definitions. Where where are the glue? Glue is inside the step definition. This is step definition. Just I have to mention the name of the package. Okay and cucumber is so smart so intelligent it can pick it up step definitions here that we bind together all the steps with glue code okay caret and dollar sign and with uh, the underscore user underscore click underscore on underscore login underscore button uh, method okay so now we are ready to run it okay we're ready to run it just to test whether it is working fine but in the next step we will also see more uh, options how we can run the test more beautifully more excellently more um, expertly okay um, more skillfully now just right button click and run as yes, now you see you can see JUnit test test runner okay we are running the test it's invoking the browser look at it look here okay invoking the browser maybe getting to the web application and passing the parameter click on the login button now this web application is um, running slow and there is something wrong uh, i think um orange hrm uh, authority is going to be fixed it very soon from yesterday we find it like this uh, nothing is okay right so we are the software test engineers who find the problems okay um errors bugs uh, in the application and we report it to the developers and developers fixed it after the fixation uh, we retest it or we do regression testing okay just to uh, validate okay just to check and make sure everything is working fine this application is working not fine we can see a lot of problems okay so that's all for this step okay in the next step, uh, step we will uh, execute this test more detail okay more um, skillfully and we will see how we can uh, uh, make it more efficient okay now this is the fifth step and we are to go two more steps uh, step number six and step number seven okay uh, if you think you have to go more than this you want to learn advanced level of uh, PDD cucumber uh, we are writing an ebook actually we already written it and we are doing um, uh, proofreading and finalizing everything within a couple of days uh, we can deliver it maybe by tomorrow now if you are interested to find uh, advanced level of uh, BDD cucumber framework from beginning to end you can write us anytime and you can order it even on um, YouTube this is our YouTube channel now uh, it will be my request whoever watching this video if you love it share with your friends and family and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell when you uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell every time we upload new video it will give you a notification here and you can 
uh, enjoy more beautiful videos with us and learn a lot of things about web design and development uh, and you know, software development engineer in tasks okay q engineering selenium with java selenium with python and robot framework and so many things okay so uh if you even don't want to buy the ebook ebook is coming with uh, in detail with the theory on bdd cucumber in detail and it will come with 14 video tutorials seven is fundamental and rest of the seven is very high level um, framework from scratch okay uh, now if you want to uh, contribute uh, any amount you can just click here and you can contribute uh, whatever you want or if you want to buy uh, one of our ebooks uh, we have several ebooks like mm, the bible for the software testers uh, selenium uh, foundational course selenium uh, test ng from scratch selenium bdd cucumber robot framework okay and selenium with python uh, we have written ebooks and also provided video tutorial step by step so that you don't need to go to any it school spending four thousand to ten thousand dollar so that you can learn within a couple of hundred dollars this uh, beautiful skill okay so um, before 14 June we are charging just forty nine dollar for each book each ebook with video tutorials after 14 we will be charging each book 199 $200 is so now 75% off till 14 June feel free to order if you want to get them thank you very much see you in the next uh, video okay now